We'll be doing providing mouth care now um, with this skill. I've gathered my equipment and my equipment is here. I've got my emesis basin, toothbrush, toothpaste. I've got a cup of water and a towel. I've also got a paper towel. We always want to use a paper towel also, even though it's not something that's necessary. It's a good idea because you can never set your toothbrush down on anything unless it's a barrier. So you either have to keep it in your hand the whole time or you can set it down on a barrier. So now I'm going to begin the skill of providing mouth care. We will always do the same pre and post procedure actions. Just like with every skill, we're going to knock, pause, and enter. Hi, Ms. Jones, my name is Ann, and I'll be providing mouth care for you today. So now we're going to begin our peanut butter sandwich that we do before and after every skill. P is provide privacy. B is ensure that the bed is low and it is locked. S is signal device. Of course, we don't need it at the beginning, but for habit's sake, we remember signal device and we wash our hands. All right, now I'm going to sit her all the way up. For this skill, they have to be sitting up 75 to 90 degrees. So I go ahead and sit her up at 90. I always have my students do 90 as high as the bed will go, and that way we're sure we're not trying to guess what 75 or 80 degrees is. We just sit them up as high as the bed will go. This will be done on a fellow student. It will not be done on a mannequin. <coughs> so now our patient is sitting all the way up in bed. Remember, this will be a fellow student. It will not be a mannequin as it is now. So I will be doing this a modified version of it since I will, uh, in reality, we will be brushing a person's teeth on this skill. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my gloves before I begin brushing her teeth. I applied a clothing protector, which is one of the steps as well. I've got my barrier here. I'll just use a paper towel out here so that I can set my toothbrush somewhere if I need to. I'm going to get my toothbrush wet and I'm going to put some toothpaste on it. Okay, I'm going to brush all surfaces of her teeth. We'll pretend on this, but we will actually, of course, have to brush all surfaces of her teeth. Can I see your tongue, Mrs. Jones? I'll brush her tongue as well. Okay, now I'm going to set my toothbrush down on my barrier. I'm going to let Mrs. Jones rinse. Here's some water, Mrs. Jones. Rinse around. You're going to spit in the emesis basin. So she has rinsed and she has spit. I'm going to wipe her mouth. I'm going to remove my barrier. Put it in the designated uh, linen cart. I'm going to go ahead and go to the sink now. And what I'll do at the sink, as we do with all bath basins, with emesis basins as well, we have to empty it rinse it and dry it before placing it in the designated dirty supply area. We also have to rinse our toothbrush before whatever we do with it. But we, those two are still steps on the skill. I'm going to bring this over here. You'll, I'll be out of your view for a moment, but what I'll tell you what I'm doing is I'm going to rinse the toothbrush and throw that away. I'm going to rinse the basin. I'm going to dry the basin. I'm going to place the basin in the designated dirty supply area. I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself into my waste container and wash my hands. After I wash my hands, I've come back over to my patient. I'm ready to do my post-procedure actions. Our post-procedure actions are always the same. Peanut butter sandwich. P, remove privacy. B, ensure the bed is low and locked. And I can go ahead and lower the head of the bed on this. Um, on the feeding skill, that's the only one where we have to leave the head of the bed elevated. 
As long as the height of the bed is low at the end of the scale, though, that's what's really important. So I've done P for peanut, remove privacy, B, bed is low, bed is locked, S for signal, here is your call light, Mrs. Jones, and W is wash hands. And that's the end of the skill, providing mouth care.